Hi, I'm Mark, Training Manager at Vera Control, and once again it's my pleasure to welcome you back to my Vera Connected Smart Home. Before I get started, I just want to remind you that at Vera, we don't believe in charging you a monthly fee to allow you to control your Vera Connected Smart Home, and we never ever lock you into any kind of long-term contract. We just don't roll that way at Vera. Now, as much as Mark would like to take all the credit for everything that goes into these videos. The reality is, is that there's a team of us that, that decide what I'm going to talk about. And the loudest voice on that team is Dan's. Dan is our technical support manager. He and his team interface with you, our users. And he asked me to spend a couple of minutes talking about Vera access permission levels. There's four different levels. The first level is the account administrator. The account administrator can do well, anything, add new users, add new devices, add scenes, configure modes. There's nothing that the account administrator can't do. Advanced users have all the same rights and privileges as an administrator, except they can't add or delete users. How might you use this? Well, if you have a shared property, a rental property, a vacation home, a timeshare, where there's multiple people who use the property, they can make any adjustments that they want to the system, to modes, to scenes, adding devices, but they can't delete the administrator, so you can never get locked out of your Vera system. The basic level is great for children because it allows them to use the system, and that's why I'm standing here in my son's room, but not make any changes. They can't mess up the system. So guests that you're having in your home, babysitters, maybe for your parents. In a business application, for employees, they can use it, but they can't make any changes and nobody with a basic setting can mess anything up. The last level is notification only. So if you think back to modes, I can set notification based on what mode I'm in and for what reason. So if in vacation mode, I wanna ask my neighbor if they can keep an eye on the house, I can set them up for notifications only so that if a motion sensor detects motion or a door and window sensor is tripped or the smoke detector goes off, they can keep an eye on the house for me. Remember, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If there's something that you'd like to see me talk about in any of these videos, email me, training at getbira.com. And remember, at Bira, it's not about what we can do, it's about what you no longer have to do.